Emily is called a spastic quadriplegic, meaning that um, she has the self-help skills of a six-month-old. Um, so she is total care. Um, she needs total care with lifting, um, bathing, dressing. She is not medically fragile in that she's not on, um, you know, oxygens or, or IVs at night for, you know, special feedings or anything. It's orthopedic only. Good to see you this morning. Uh, here's a, a charming and lovely and, and very bright young woman who's trapped in a body that just won't do what she wants it to do. And so our simple everyday tasks we take for granted can be a struggle for her. And yet, again, she perseveres. At the core of her is a very caring, compassionate, giving, fun-loving, out to, she wants to have a good time even though she's in a wheelchair. I mean, I never dreamed of, a, of her dancing in her wheelchair, but, but her, she dances in the wheelchair, which is awesome. She made me stop and literally smell the roses. I mean, literally. There's a beautiful arboretum not far from our home, and I, for, you know, 10, 15 years, drove by that day in, day out. And, you know, out the van window one day, she goes, Mom, what's that place right there that's got all the pretty flowers? We drive by it all the time. Let's stop sometime, you know? And lo and behold, I was driving by the most beautiful God's creation of roses and, and the fall leaves and having that crackle under her tires, you know? Uh, she literally made me stop and realize that I was after the big thing, what the world says is important. And Emily made me stop and realize that life is relationships and um, it's not what she can do physically, it's the richness that she brought to me as a mom and a daughter. It's the richness that she brought into our friendships in the community. Seeing her struggle and seeing her overcome her struggles is an incredible inspiration. She always has a smile, her curls are always bouncing. Um, people want to be around her, they love her. She cares so much about everybody around her and puts herself second all the time. She will ask everybody, you know, how can I be praying for you? And you better believe she'll be asking you um, the next time she sees you how that situation is going because she will pray for you. And um, she just is always smiling and happy and she takes whatever comes at her with stride. It's a daily choice every day. When you get up, you can say, you can say, okay, today I can choose to be overwhelmed by my circumstances or I can let God handle it. What am I going to do? And then also surround yourself with a supportive network of people. Relationships are so important. I don't know if I can stress that enough. And that, that will just listen to you and be there and help you up when you fall.